Welcome to Catholic Reflection. Reflection 4. Friday, March 8, 2024. Third week of Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel passage, a scribe approaches Jesus impressed by his teachings, and asks him, Which is the first of all the commandments? This seemingly simple question sparks a profound response from Jesus, reminding us of the core of our faith. 1. The two great commandments. Jesus answers by highlighting two interconnected commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This calls for a complete devotion to God, encompassing our thoughts, feelings, and actions. It's about recognizing God's presence in everything and striving to live in accordance with His will. Love your neighbor as yourself. This commandment expands our love beyond ourselves, urging us to show compassion, kindness, and service towards others. It reminds us that we are all part of one human family, created by God and deserving of our love. 2. The foundation of Christian life. These two commandments are not separate obligations, but rather two expressions of the same fundamental truth, love. True love for God naturally overflows into love for our neighbor. When we love God deeply, we naturally desire to share that love with others, reflecting His love in our words and actions. 3. A call to action. This passage serves as a powerful reminder for all of us. We are called to examine our own hearts. How deeply do we truly love God? Are there areas in our lives where we can strengthen our connection with Him? Reflect on our relationships. Do we show genuine love and care towards others, especially those in need? Can we go beyond superficial interactions and build authentic connections? Catholic Reflection The Catechism of the Catholic Church echoes this message, stating that the two greatest commandments summarize the whole law and the prophets. By living out these commandments with sincerity, we fulfill our call as Christians and contribute to building a more just and loving world. By integrating these two commandments into our daily lives, we can experience a deeper connection with God and build a more loving and compassionate world. Remember, love is the foundation of our faith and the core of Jesus' teachings. Let us strive to live out these commandments with sincerity and dedication, making the world a better place, one act of love at a time. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, help us to grow in our love for you and for our neighbor. Open our hearts to your presence and guide us to live according to your will. May our actions reflect your love and compassion, bringing peace and joy to the world. Amen.